Bundy's Garage, Bundy here. Hey, today I wanted to share with you guys a USB charger I got for, for the car. This is from Tough Tested. I picked this up from uh, O'Reilly Auto Parts, model number TTP33U. The cool thing and why I bought this from O'Reilly is the fact that it had uh, three USB ports, one here, one here, one here. This actually opens up. You could actually put a USB wire in here and then in theory, it's supposed to lock the USB wire in place. I'll put a link in the description below where you can pick this thing up, but I was hoping and having really high expectations for this. I've had it for about a month now, and let's see, it was about $20 from O'Reilly, but it actually just failed yesterday. I know you can't uh, smell things on YouTube, but if you could smell it, it smells all burned up and like burnt, like burnt plastic is what it actually smells like. I was hoping really good things out of this, Tough tested InstaSense. On the packaging, it says it, it actually senses what component needs more power and it puts more power to that component depending on what it senses it needs, quote unquote. I'm going to end up taking it back and getting my money back. I'll just stick with the uh, cheap uh, car charger, USB car chargers that you find at uh, AMPM or the supermarket, supermarket or whatever. But uh, yeah, I was, uh, I was not satisfied with my purchase of tough tested. One thing I forgot to check to see if this fuse is blown, and I'll look like an idiot if it is, huh? And the fuse is blown, but it does smell burnt. So I'll do this. I'll replace the fuse, see if it lasts, see if it comes back on, and see if it works. So I actually have an extra fuse, and I'll try it right now, see if I can get it to come back on. But like I said, it smells burned up. It was actually stinking the car up that I was in. So let's go see if we can get this thing to work with a new fuse. Okay, so I put a new fuse in. Here's the old one, just so you know you can see it blown up inside there. Put a new fuse in. And I'll take it out to my truck and see if it'll actually light up. All right, sorry the lighting's poor. That little light you see is part of a uh, lightning cable for an iPhone. So, you pull this out. Like I said, sorry there's no light. This is the middle of the, middle of the night I'm doing this. I stay up late just for you guys. All right, here we go. We're gonna stick it into the cigarette lighter. Oh, did you see it? Did you see it for a second? It lit up for one second and then it went out. So the fuse popped. So there's something inside here that's causing the fuse to pop and short internally. Man, I hope I got that on video. So we're back inside Bundy's garage and hopefully I got it, but uh, here's the old fuse. Here's the one I just put in, and it looked like it had blown too, but it's not. You know what, let me take an ohm meter to that, see if I have continuity. So the fuse does have continuity. So I guess it doesn't mean it's blown. I thought it was blown, I could have sworn it was blown. I'm gonna go check it one more time inside the truck. All right, well I took it back out of the truck, Sorry I didn't take you there out with me, but you didn't need to see it. So I plugged in my uh, cigarette lighter for my iPhone, or I should say I plugged in my iPhone charger into my cigarette lighter, that lit up. Plugged this one back in and nothing. I guess that, that little, if you guys were able to see it, I think I got it captured on film, but uh, that little blue light was its last hurrah. So there it goes, tough tested, not very tough, and I just tested it too, so gonna take that sucker back. If you found any of my videos helpful, please consider subscribing to Bunny's Garage on YouTube. Questions, comments, concerns, you can always reach out to me at bunniesgarage at gmail.com. You can follow me on Twitter at Bunny's Garage. And like always, I'll keep rolling for you.